Hello and welcome to Okay Voter Reviews. Today we are going to be doing yet another comparison review which most of you have been requesting for. These are the Toyota IST and the Mazda Verisa. These are both compact hatchbacks which are unfortunately no longer in production. The Mazda Verisa was available for only one generation from 2004 till 2015 while the Toyota IST was available for two generations. The particular one we'll be taking a look at in this comparison is the second generation which was in production from 2007 till 2016. These are both very reliable cars that are full efficient and affordable to maintain as well. The Mazda Verisa is related to the Demio mechanically but design wise it's a bit more mature and spacious as well. The Toyota IST on the other hand is related to the Vits and typically just like many other Toyotas it shares many of its components with other Toyotas, be it the engine, transmission, suspension components, and much more. The Verisa is much more affordable than the Toyota IST, but does that mean it's a better buy? That's what we will be finding out in today's comparison. So please stay tuned. Do consider subscribing to the channel for more informative content on cars as well as bikes. And welcome to IK Voto Reviews. So now we will be comparing the 2015 model of the Verisa versus the 2016 model of the IST. So beginning with the prices, a 2015 Verisa will set you back between 950,000 shillings to a maximum of around 1.28 million depending on the trim level and mileage. Some of the limited edition models with low mileage are the most expensive, stretching to around 1.28 million. The IST on the other hand is more expensive. 2015 and 2016 models will set you back between 1.4 to around 1.65, again depending on the trim level. Being a Toyota, it's slightly overpriced. The Verisa is a bit underrated, yet it does almost everything, just as well as the IST. In terms of the engine options, they both come with 1500cc four-cylinder naturally aspirated engines. The one in the Verisa produces around 113 horsepower, while the one in the IST produces around 109 horsepower. Both cars are available in either front or all-wheel drive. As for their transmission options, the Verisa comes with a four-speed automatic, while the IST comes with a CVT gearbox. Both engines are very reliable and decently powerful enough for even very long journeys. The Verisa is particularly more engaging to drive, especially due to its conventional automatic gearbox, as well as, well as its good body control. It's slightly better than the IST in that regard. Maintenance-wise, both are very affordable to maintain, and the spare parts are easy to find, especially being that they are shared with other models. Depending on how heavy the traffic is in town, the Mazda Verisa can get around 11 kilometers per liter, but in open roads or on the highway, it can get around 16.5 kilometers per liter or slightly more, depending on how you drive. The Toyota IST, on the other hand, can achieve around 10.5 kilometers per liter in traffic. Again, it will depend on how heavy the traffic is as well as on how much weight the vehicle is carrying. On the highway, it can push all the way up to around 16 kilometers per liter. So these are generally fuel efficient cars. And something else is that if you're buying a locally used unit, the efficiency will also depend on how well that car was maintained by the previous owner. And that's why conducting a mechanical inspection is always very important. The Mazda Verisa has a 45 liter fuel tank, while the Toyota IST has a 42 liter tank. Both cars get front ventilated discs, but at the back, the Verisa gets drums, while the IST gets solid discs. As for the ground clearance, both are good enough. In fact, you won't need to do any modifications to increase the clearance. The Mazda Verisa has a 155 millimeter clearance, which is surprisingly slightly better than the Toyota IST's which measures in at around 145 millimeters. The Verisa has better clearance, but it has 15 inch wheels. So looking at it from the exterior, you wouldn't, 
law that it has such good clearance. In fact, the IST seems to have even better clearance because of its larger 16-inch wheels. Something else that makes it look like it sits higher off the ground is its exterior design, which looks quite rugged. The carb weight of the Mazda Verisa is around 1100 kgs, while that of the IST is between 1150 to 1210 kgs. Lastly, some of the extra features you can get in these cars include alloy wheels, fog lights, steering mounted audio controls, keyless entry and go, navigation screen that also doubles up as the backup camera, and in addition to this, some variants of the Mazda Verisa can even come with cruise control. So generally, not bad. They are fairly well kitted for the price. Now on to the exterior and interior designs. They both look okay, plain but in an inoffensive way. The Verisa particularly looks so simple, not extravagant but also not striking. The IST on the other hand looks a bit more robust and rugged. Interior-wise, the Verisa feels, feels like a well-built and slightly well-finished compared to the Toyota IST. Yes, it looks plain but a bit more premium even in terms of the quality of the materials. The seats are comfortable enough and there is even a front armrest which the Toyota IST misses out on. At the back, the space is adequate for three adults. The headroom is very good. The legroom is also quite decent. The boot is spacious enough to swallow two large suitcases. And something else about that boot is that you can divide it into two, an upper and lower deeper compartment. It's a well thought out design, especially for smaller families. The Toyota IST's interior is again quite basic but functional. It doesn't feel as nice as the Verisa, but it's still not too bad. The seats are comfortable enough, though there is no front armrest. At the back, the space is good enough, though the headroom is not as good as in the Mazda Verisa. Three people of average size can be accommodated in relative comfort, even for long journeys. So generally, Apart from good headroom, the IST is almost just as spacious as the Mazda Verisa. The boot is decent enough, not as deep as the Verisas, but still good enough. The rear seats can be folded down in a 60-40 split configuration to increase the carrying capacity whenever the need arises. So that said, let's now have a look at each car's strong as well as weak points beginning with the strong points. The Mazda Verisa is a reliable, full efficient, spacious and affordable to maintain hatchback that also offers very good value. Getting a 2015 model with between 950 to a maximum of around 1.25 million is not bad at all considering the very high car prices which are even expected to rise again. In fact, this is a better value proposition than the smaller Demio and something like a Vitz, Paso, and many other smaller cars. On to the weaknesses, the first one is its suspension, which is not very strong. In fact, if you intend to frequently be driving on uneven Maram roads, then do take note that this car's suspension is not that strong to handle such roads frequently. You may have to frequently keep replacing the suspension components, so maybe the best thing to do is avoid driving frequently on such roads or alternatively you can install slightly stronger aftermarket suspension components. Another weak point is its resale value which is not as good as its Toyota counterpart. But as I always say, maintain a car well and even if it generally doesn't have very good resale value, you can still be able to sell it at a good price. Moving on to the IST. It's also a very reliable car that is affordable to maintain and efficient as well. It also has very good resale value being a Toyota. On to its weak point, which is just one. It's a bit overpriced. Yes, car prices have skyrocketed, but still the AST is a bit overpriced, especially the 2015 and 2016 models. So which one would, should you go for? Save yourself the 400,000 shillings and get the Mazda Verisa. Even with the weak suspension, it still offers very good value for money. It's spacious, engaging to drive, 
has a proper automatic gearbox, it's full efficient, the interior is well built and most importantly, the price is quite affordable. On the other hand, if you have the finances and you like the IST, then go for it. It's also a very good car and you don't necessarily have to go for the more expensive 2015 and 2016 models. You could even get a 2010 model that is in very good condition with less than 1 million shillings. So there you have it. Do let me know which one you would go for in the comment section. Personally, my pick would be the Mazda Verisa. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do consider subscribing for more informative content on cars as well as bikes. That's it for this particular episode. As always, if you have any inquiries, feel free to reach me via WhatsApp or email. Stay safe and see you in the next one.